Sky here and I always think that the follow-up review is more important than the original review now what I have here is the waterproof and ruggedized case and inside I'm about to open it I've got the Phantom 2 Vision Plus now you can find all of this within a link within this video's description but I'm gonna tell you how my experience with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus has been so far so first of all this is my second Phantom 2 Vision Plus because the first one I unfortunately crashed into a tree it was my own fault and I immediately went out and got a second one because it's so awesome now prior to the Phantom 2 Vision Plus I had the Phantom 1 immediately after using the one I noticed that the flight dynamics of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus were a lot more precise I have landed this on the front of my boat at least 30 or 40 times no problems at all it's very very precise flight and also, unlike the Phantom 1 where you had a GoPro attached, and I like GoPro, I like GoPro a lot, but this has its own DJI branded camera. And in my opinion, it's superior to the GoPro from a, uh, from a drone videography perspective. And you can check out my hundreds of, of DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos within, uh, within my playlist, and you'll see for yourself how silky smooth it is. And just the controls of it, you can tilt it up and down while you're flying. It's just very precise and you can see my plate this metal part this is the only thing I've added to the stock DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus and it's it's carbon fiber and you can find a link to it within this video's description as well but it better protects the camera and the gimbal should it encounter a crash this will likely increase the uh, probability that you want uh, that your Phantom won't be damaged during the crash but talking about the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the things that have impressed me the most, obviously the DJI Vision app. I've used it on both. Uh, actually, I've used it on a, on a myriad of devices. Right now, I'm using the iPod Touch, the current model iPod Touch. And the reason being is that I do a lot of filming internationally. And when I'm doing that, it's not optimal to have a cell phone because a cell phone, I could encounter uh, data roaming charges. But with the iPod, I won't because it's basically an iPhone without cell phone capabilities and then I've also got the uh, Android tablet the 7 inch Android tablet that you've seen in my other videos that's what I fly with and then when I'm on home turf sometimes I'll still fly with the uh, with the current model well it's not current anymore it's the iPhone 5 so it's regardless of the device that I'm using they all interface really well with the Phantom and the uh, the thing I really like about the Phantom 2 Vision Plus are the batteries because on the previous Phantom the Phantom 1 you couldn't push a button and see the battery life remaining which that's really nice it's hard to see out here in the Sun but I can tell this battery is completely full so it gives you that visual acknowledgement before you fly that uh, that your battery's charged or not charged or possibly excuse me possibly partially charged and also within the DJI Vision app you can view the battery life remaining and that's what makes this thing so cool is that the manual flight controls of it are exceptionally smooth. So when you're flying it, it's, it's very easy to control as I had mentioned previously. And then the, the, the extra features that you get, and what's cool is that DJI decided to put it into the app for no additional charge, it's the ground station functionality. So you can pull out your tablet, your iPhone, your iPod Touch, whatever you use, and set waypoints and you can watch the Phantom fly itself to those specified points it's really really cool and it's 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 useful because what you can do with that obviously you want to maintain line of sight of your drone to be safe but while it's flying itself you can focus upon controlling the camera angle up and down as it flies versus having to control the flight of the Phantom and then also work the camera so that's that's a really nice feature the video quality of this although it doesn't do 1080p 60 like the current model GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition does, it does do 1080p 30. And I've retimed videos, sped them up, slowed them down within Final Cut Pro 10, and it's crispy smooth, silky smooth. So sure, you're not getting the 60 frames per second at 1080p, 
but what you are getting is the ability to interface directly with the DJI Vision app. When you update the firmware on this, that's what I like about it, it's all DJI. So I just go to the DJI website, download the firmware updates, and I'm good to go. I mean, it's, it's not a deal where I'm piecing together different manufacturers, uh, drivers, and hoping and crossing my fingers that it works and, and not been able to upgrade because if I upgraded this component, because it's third party, it may not be compatible with XYZ firmware. So by having it all developed by DJI, I have the reassurance that, that when, when updates are made available, that it'll all just work. It's kind of like the, love it or hate it, but it's kind of like the Apple computer of drones. I like, I like Macs. I used to, I grew up building my own computers. Put a lot of pride into that, into that. But with that said, a Mac just works. I can edit videos, I can edit photos, I can browse the web, I can do whatever. And that's the same thing with this Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's all integrated, it just works out of the box. Now sure, you do have to have common sense and you do have to have uh, some sort of sense of hand and eye coordination because obviously this is a flying object and you want to be safe with it. But with that said, this in my opinion is the best drone to buy, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And you can check the link within this video's description. I've got the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, my ruggedized and waterproof case. That is definitely something I would get right when I got the Phantom 2 Vision Plus as the case because it'll help you to better protect your investment. And it's just, it's just an out of the box joy to enjoy. And I haven't had any problems with it. Yeah, I crashed my first one. It was my own fault, ran into a tree. But that kind of stuff happens. But the thing that matters is that I came back and I bought another one. And that's how much I like the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And I know there's a lot of people, I'm just checking my camera here because I'm filming on DSLR. Okay, I'm good. DSLR cameras have a hard stop at 12 minutes. And since it's sunny out here, it's kind of hard to see, to see where I am. But you've probably seen my other videos. I, I know I did a video, I think it was either a week after purchasing my Phantom 2 Vision Plus or maybe it was a month after, after but this, this follow-up review, I'm filming this at the end, uh, actually it's uh, Labor Day weekend. So that's, that's how much hands-on time I've had. I got the Phantom 2 Vision Plus right when it came out, and I've had that much hands-on time with this. And I can tell you, I'm trying to think of anything that I could say negative about it. Well, one thing I would say, if you did crash and you did damage your gimbal and or camera, that's likely going to be a costly repair. Now, if you do crash and you crack the body, that's, that's somewhat inexpensive to repair. You can get a body kit for probably 50 bucks or so on the internet, that's not a big deal. I haven't had any, uh, from a functionality perspective, I haven't encountered any, any technical problems with this. I know a lot of people, that you've got to keep in mind with the internet, there's a lot of people that want to post negative comments and they may not even own a own a, a device in this case a drone they just want to post negative comments because that's what they do or maybe they're just upset that other people have the drone and they want it so they want to go out and find all the drone videos and bash it but i challenge everyone to pick one of these up and try it for yourself and just see how impressed you are because i, I would it would be hard for me to not be impressed with this and it's, it's one of those things that uh, you can get the other models, you can get the Phantom 2 without the camera or anything and add your own camera. But again, what I was saying earlier is that if you go that route, you're gonna be mixing third party components in with it. One of the other things I didn't mention earlier is that this DJI camera that comes with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, this DJI camera receives its power from the main battery, this battery right here. So you're not having to fumble with additional uh, with additional batteries for your uh, for your camera. It just makes it a lot more convenient when you're out in the field. And it's one less thing to lose or one less thing to to become broken. So that's that's a huge advantage to the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's just a, uh, it just works. Like I said, it's out of the box goodness, it works. And one of the things that you may want to, uh, that you may want to check out is the, uh, just do some number crunching. Let's say that you didn't want to go the Phantom 2 Vision Plus route. Do some number crunching and look at what it would probably cost if you purchased the gimbal, if you purchased the GoPro, if you purchased the FPV equipment. If you were going to purchase the equipment required 
to try to come close to what you get out of the Phantom 2 Vision Plus out of the box, you're probably going to find you're going to be paying a lot more and you're probably going to find that unlike with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus where it integrates with the DJI Vision app where it's just all on your phone or your tablet, you're going to find that with that solution you're not going to be able to use that app and have that functionality. So it's it's one of those things that if you're da if if you feel that the price is daunting for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, it's actually probably not because if you if you do the number crunching of all those other items and then you got to you got to tell yourself, do you want to uh, do you want to yeah, I'm still good on time. <laughs> do you want to do all that? Or do you just want to buy something that just works out of the box? And that's my best advice. I'm not sitting here trying to sell a Phantom 2 Vision Plus. But I'm telling you from my personal experiences why I would only buy the Phantom 2 Vision Plus at this point in time. If you just want a toy, get you a SEMA, get you a Phantom 1. Maybe don't even attach a camera to it. Have fun flying it. But if you want a professional video and photo rig, get the Phantom 2 uh, get the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. That's my best advice. And be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash guy and enjoy all my DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos. And y'all have a good day. Oh, and check out aerialrights.com. That's aerialrights.com. Join the forums there and let's help to uh, promote our our drone flying freedoms. Y'all have a good day.